Okay, so this is a video for someone starting out uh, wanting to work out. Um, assuming you're healthy, uh, don't have any cardiac issues or joint or serious other issues. This is uh, something I thought about for a long time. It's a great primer for anyone wanting to start an exercise program. And these next few exercises require very little equipment, which I like. Because this is what I found is, uh, particularly guys, when it's it's the bro the bro science the bro factor of going into a gym and feeling uh, insecure uh, because you're surrounded by a bunch of guys who you think know what they're doing, but in reality, in my experience in gyms, most dudes don't know what the hell they're doing in the gym. You know, in in my years of in all my years of going into gyms, <laughs> I had several handful of people <laughs> across, uh, you know, hundreds of people that I've got, got seen actually knew, know, knew what they were doing. Um, otherwise, most guys, most people just kind of do the same routine over and over again with little, little to no results. Um, they plateau. They, and anyway, so this is stuff. This is this stuff I'm going to show is part one of how to get. Uh, started into working out and a lot of it involves body weight uh, exercises which in my humble opinion body weight exercises are the best bang for your buck because it, it works out if you do it hard and fast enough it works out your cardiovascular system um, and then it borderlines on high intensity uh, interval training uh, but it also builds muscle and builds strength functional strength so one of the things I like is, uh, it's called a jump squat. And this is a good, uh, let me back pedal. If jumping rope is amazing. I think it's one of the, I suck at it. Well, I suck at it because I don't practice enough, partly because my ceiling is, ceiling is a little bit low. Um, but when I was younger, uh, a young teen, after watching a gazillion Rocky movies, I um, got really good at jumping rope. Um, and it's just one of these things like, everything practice 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 and you get you will guarantee get better better at it. jump rope is a great 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 warm-up it's a great exercise for timing it's an amazing exercise for your calves i mean if you haven't if you're fit and hadn't jumped rope in a long time and and like, jump into it you're going to be in a lot of pain the next day um so uh in, in the interest of not demonstrating jumping rope uh finding a rope um let me quickly find one. Oh, hold on. The um sizing a jump rope, of course this is all messed up. You want to have the jump rope uh under your feet. Um Kind of like the stance of which you're gonna you're gonna hop. You don't want to hop too far. You don't want to hop too narrow. You want to hop kind of maybe slightly below your shoulders, your feet landing, or maybe get like that. So you take that stance, and this should come up to about under your armpits, which this is actually sized correctly. And again, uh, lack of space. I'd rather not do this. Uh, jumping rope, thirty second, second in increments. Thirty seconds doesn't sound like very long. It ends up being, being a lot really long when you try when you try doing it for the first time for the or the first few weeks. So jump rope is great, which leads me into the other great thing, which is the jump squat. So the jump squat uh, is one of these things. If you look at it and you think, well, well, what's that going to do? Well, it's going to kick your ass. Is what it's going to do. And the jump squat is is exactly what it sounds like. You jump from a squatting position, fire up, and come back down. Um, what the workout I like to work into this, uh, the workout I like to utilize this exercise is in Tabata intervals, which is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, uh, for four minutes. Um, so that's eight reps. Um, the first few weeks, you probably won't even get past four reps of that, it's that hard. And you don't want to do this like a superhero, you want to pace yourself. So doing the Tabata intervals, I would recommend, again, working into it. Start off just learning how to do the jump squat. Um, 
a few jumps every few seconds and just get used to it. And then if you really want to work on a workout, you can bang it, bang it out in four minutes and it'll kick your ass and you will probably not be able to walk the, uh, <laughs> for the next day. Um, so jump squat, come down up. and I like to throw the arms up because it gets you the momentum and it fires, um, fires your whole body. And these are cumulative things, these little motions that you all add into these, these exercises, they all, it all ties in. You want to come basically down parallel to the ground with your thighs. Like I said, your inclination is like, well, how hard is that? So I'm just going to keep on jumping up and down. You're not going to last very long. What you want to do is jump up, land, jump up, land in a nice, slow rhythm and build, build up, build up. And when you jump up, you kind of want to, what you want to do is not only do you want to leap with your quads, which are these dominant muscles, but you also want to fire up off your calves. So it's not a flat footed jump. It's not like this. It's up, up, up. And if you're watching my legs, I'm having ankle flexion, which is dropping the toes down. And what that is, is it's firing my calves, and causing me to launch off the balls of my feet. So. Adding all those motions in makes it an extremely athletic uh, exercise. And like I said, it builds a foundation for stuff later on when you want to work in gym equipment. So the other thing is, is the push-up. So the push-up being one of the my favorite exercises. But the problem is it's really, really difficult. Um, and going back to guys going into the gym and feeling slightly insecure. Um, not being able to um, execute a traditional push-up, meaning uh, shoulder width apart, arms, both feet on the ground, and you want to lower your chest down to the ground uh, from a distance, basically a mug or your fist. So your chest wants to hit the fist, top of the fist. Um, lower yourself down, arms at a 90 degree angle, and then back up. So it's this. Well, the problem is, most human beings can't do that. Um, and that's not a big deal. Um, it does take quite a bit of upper body work, but also takes a lot of practice. So one of my favorite things that I've learned over the years is a term called progression. And progression is exactly what it sounds like. You want to progress. And I learned that word through trying to learn how to do gymnastic movements. A gymnast doesn't just, doesn't just jump in and do an iron cross. Um, what's going to happen is if they even attempt that, they're going to tear the tendons off the shoulders, elbows, wrists. So what you want to do is progress into that movement. Same thing with everything else. You want to progress, and that's what all of these body weight exercises are. They are simple progressions into more complex movements. So the progression for a push-up can start very, very simple. And what I, what I, when I was thinking about this and, and what I would like for people to do is not is to really embrace the idea of progression because uh, progression and movement, a lot of times people just don't want to do a half version of an exercise. They don't want to do a half push up. They don't want to do a half pull up. But the problem is, is if you don't learn the range of motion for these complex exercises like a push up and a pull up, you're never gonna get them. And, and one of the things I've discovered over the years is the use of bands. And I'll get to this uh, later. These are amazing. And I'll get to, get to this in a minute. Um, but as far as the push up, one of the best progressions starting out is a simple pushing yourself against a wall. And so the traditional push up again is, is you on the ground. So you, and gravity has got its maximum effect there. First progression you wanna start with is hands against the wall um, and 
and this is just something something you, you this is the progression um eventually working your feet further and further away from the wall but the first progression is see how far you can go with let's say a 15 degree angle um so basically almost standing straight but then i'm falling forward a few inches and see where this gets you and with this progression you basically want to get your nose against the wall and if that feels easy you can do one of two things or actually two things that have to happen you can lower your hands and then you can kick your feet further out and then progress this way so hopefully i don't crush my garage door and the idea here is slowly get lower and lower at a certain point you're not gonna be able to do, do that too far because you're gonna start falling off the wall and that's where using a bar or some kind of fixed object at a lower height than what you've now progressed to. And that's why this is great right here. Um, it's a barbell in a bench position or squat, front squat position. That's what I was using it for. And very similar to this, what I like about this is now you're now you're utilizing your, your grip and you just basically want to push yourself down. And this almost becomes a human bench press. And this is a good progression to learning the bench press. So I actually like this idea um, a lot. And so I'm basically at a 45 degree angle to the, to, the bar, to the bar, arms fully extended, down on chest is literally touching the bar and pushing away. I like that one a lot. And then once you get used to doing that one, <clears throat> one of the final progressions well, one of the final supported progressions is using a bench because it's now now it's even lower. It's about two feet lower than the bar in that position. But again, you can lower that wherever you want. Um, yeah, in fact, you can lower that if you could, but a lot of times the bench is just a lot easier because it's laying on the ground. And you want to go to here, I'm kind of cupping the bench and coming down. And now my body's probably at a... 30 degree angle, um, pretty acute. This is a great, 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 great progression. Again, chest to the chest to the bench. Um, variations of these pull-up progressions or any pull-up is the spacing of your hands, uh, spacing of your hands, spacing of your feet, and the amount of feet you use. You can do it with push-ups with wide stance, narrow stance with one foot, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, but the hand spacing, what I like to do is start with basically shoulder width or maybe a little bit wider. Um, and here's the difference. The wider you go, the grip, the more it's going to work at your chest, which for a bro is good because it gives you bigger pecs. Um, the closer you go in, it's going to work out your triceps more, um, and it's going to give you bigger arms. So um why not do both do a one set wide or and one set narrower and then alternate so do four sets um but i love 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 the progression I particularly like doing it like i said with the barbell because it trains you for the ultimate uh bro exercise which is the bench press and we'll get to that at a later date so the other progression i like a lot is the using the uh band elastic band. These are all rated. They're usually color coded. They're always color coded and they're usually fairly consistent um, with the color codes as far as like how much weight it'll support off the top of my head. I don't know, but um, you can usually just tell by the thickness, the width of the band. This one is a green, obviously, and it holds probably the most the second most second most amount of weight. And then the highest that I have is the blue, which will probably completely hold me up no problem um so the point of the color is is the amount of weight it can hold and the more what i like about this and this is leading into the progression for a pull-up as hard as the push-up is the pull-up is even harder but in my opinion it's one of the best exercises around um for your upper body uh if overdone you can get tendonitis but if you overdo anything you can get tendonitis doing that um, but what I found, like I said, over the years is using a band for the pull-up is awesome. It's, I wish I, I wish I had these, these existed when I was a teenager. Um, 
when I was learning how to do the pull up or even the one, or even the one arm pull up, and that's um, uh, me humble bragging. But what's great about the pull up is, and, and, and when I was saying what's great about learning progression is the range of motion. And again, this idea that most people don't like to do exercises unless it's all the guys, particularly, don't, it's all the way or nothing. Well, that's bullshit. You need to learn how to do the full range of motion, support it, and then eventually you'll be able to do it unsupported to get the full, full correct form. And and this is what I've learned with a lot of the gymnastic move, gymnastics moves I've learned. So with the band, ooh, this thing is really taut. Um, I should probably use the one that's less taut. But the idea here is is that you can use this with two feet, one foot. But man, this thing is like pretty much holding all of my weight. Um, and that's a good thing because if you're learning, um, do it two feet if you want, one foot. Also, be careful with these bands because they have a tendency tendency to snap, especially as they get old. And mines are getting a little bit old, just even from not using it that much. So, um, again, this is an advanced exercise, but the basic pull up is arms slightly shoulder width further apart shoulder width for me would be here i wouldn't even go a little bit further out um and then you want to pull up and have your chin over the bar so the pull up is the hardest one version which you hear is a thing called the chin up chin up which arguably is actually a better exercise because for the pull up even though it works out your it is the definition of like the perfect back exercise um, and you know military tests are all done all done on the pull up I think still they don't do the do the chin up for the women pull up for the men the chin up is the other variation and it is the chin up over the bar but what it is is palms facing towards you pull up is palms facing outward chin up is great because it builds your biceps because you're basically doing a giant curl a body weight curl all the way down up all the way down up. now again people are gonna say oh you're cheating so well the problem is if you don't have the strength to do a pull-up or a push-up unsupported you are never going to get that range of motion you are never going to get that that feeling of what it feels like to actually pull yourself up and there's and this is something people don't understand it's like without having that full range of motion you're never going to build the strength you'll have enough strength to hear because you're struggling unsupported but you're never going to get this motion so i really 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 like these things um you know bands are basically i can't think of unless you use a pulley and a counterweight system um which is kind of impractical at a gym there's really no other substitute uh for this so i just think think these things are amazing um but again pull-ups chin-ups either either variation i really like I think it's one of the best flat out exercises you can do for your upper body because uh, it builds not only shoulders, your back, uh, your forearms, your grip, uh, your biceps, uh, your triceps to some certain extent. Uh, but I think it's an extra excellent exercise. This is a really, really, really hard one. Um, but I think that's a good start. Now taking, let's just take the whole progression idea even further. Um, of course, in the gym, you're going to see a lot of machines and um, a lot of free weights. And what you want to progress to is integrating that jump squat and learning uh, from the jump squat. You're going to learn what it's like to execute a pr uh, proper squat. And uh, one of the, the important things about a squat is you don't want to go below your, your thighs below parallel. And there's competing thoughts of maybe in quarter is enough they call it a hack squat and 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 i, and I think anything is fine you just don't want to go past parallel uh and definitely for starting so the jump squat when you practice it um for four minutes is going to teach you how to fire off like that and that's a great progression for the squat which i'll cover another time the push-up especially the bar push-up elevated bar push-up is a great progression into using the bench press, which I recommend using a, a machine to do that just because it's safer. Eventually you could be able to use a, a machine, you know, using machine for a squat, a machine for a bench press. 
Um, free weights is a totally, totally, totally advanced um, progression, but uh, that's a great start. Uh, later on, you can work in curls, but in my honest opinion, for my Ninja Warrior experience, is that you don't need to do curls if you do a lot of body weight exercises, which a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, that's not, there's no way. It's like, well, I built bigger biceps when I did my full ninja training uh, than I ever did lifting a weight, believe it or not. And all of that bicep mass, strength, uh, mass and strength I got was not from curling my arms, but it was literally from just, just hanging. And I'll cover that another time. And it's something I learned. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, and it's totally counterintuitive to everything I've learned in 50 years, but that's the truth. So a lot of these exercises, you can get super, super swollen, super, super fit. Um, and that's, again, that's another thing about the bro stuff is that a lot of guys really can't execute a proper pull-up. Uh, and you won't see them do it at the gym because they can't do it. They could be really big and not, not even be able to do one pull-up. Uh, they won't be able to fire off more than 10 push-ups. Um, jump squats, they won't last the four full minute Tabata intervals. Um, and, um, these are great, 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 great things. And it's the measure of true strength in my, my opinion. So anyway, hope this helps and talk to you soon.